So let me review a bit. In the critical apparatus, uh, you will have a, le a letter and superscript that uh, refers you to a marginal reading that will uh, indicate uh, usually some sort of text critical uh, issue. In the case of uh, uh, Genesis 12.3, uh, Umkalelka, uh, it tells you that uh, in the opinion of the editor, that you should read with Cairo Geniza manuscripts, uh, some other manus uh, Masoretic manuscripts, the uh, Samaritan Pentateuch manuscript, the Septuagint, the, the Syriac, and the Vulgate, the plural form, those who curse you. And so you as a translator, and again, all those uh, Latin abbreviations, L, C, and the abbreviation for Cairo Geniza, C is uh, Posse, a few, uh, MS, uh, S would be Hebrew manuscripts, uh, uh, would be Masoretic manuscripts, and um, Samaritan Pentateuch and so forth. Uh, you have to decide, <clears throat> is that uh, external evidence sufficient to cause you to translate differently than what the Masoretic text says. Now, if you compare modern translations on this verse, uh, most of them will do what the NIV does and uh, leave the Masoretic text alone. Whoever curses you, I will curse. But there will be some translations, uh, a Roman Catholic translation, the New American Bible, Revised Edition, uh, translates, I will bless those who bless you and curse those who curse you. Those who curse you makes it plural. They're following uh, the alternative uh, readings from uh, those other uh, manuscripts. Uh, the New Living Translation also takes it plural. I will bless those who bless you and curse those, plural, who treat you with uh, contempt. Yet another translation that takes a plural uh, text is the uh, common uh, English Bible, uh, the CEB, uh, which renders it plural. Those who curse you, I will curse. By the way, I'm uh, getting these comparisons by uh, going to the uh, Bible Gateway. And uh, if you just do one verse, it uh, has an option show uh, that particular verse in all English translations and you'll get a parallel of a whole bunch of translations. Some more useful translation than others to be sure, but uh, it's a kind of a very quick way to find out how various translators have uh, rendered a expression that might be difficult. Now even though this particular issue represents a text critical issue, in some ways, it's kind of trivial. Uh, if it says, I will bless those that bless you, and the one who curses you, I will curse, it doesn't mean a whole lot different than I will bless those who bless you, and the ones who curse you, I will curse. Uh, the overall sense is the same, and so the decision whether to go with the traditional text or the alternative reading uh, is uh, mostly a a, a trivial one. Well, in order to read the apparatus, you need to uh, learn to recognize the abbreviations, this little squiggly thing. I don't even know what it's called, uh, but that represents the Samaritan Pentateuch. Uh, this symbol represents the early Greek, the old Greek the Septuagint. Uh, this symbol is for the Cairo Geniza fragments. Uh, now found at uh, Cambridge University. Uh, and then uh, this little uh, S-type thing is a symbol for the Peshitta, which is a translation of the Hebrew Bible into Syriac. And then uh, this symbol, which is kind of a fancy V, represents uh, Jerome's Latin Vulgate translation, uh, which uh, trans translates uh, what uh, usually what you would call a proto-Masoritic uh, kind of uh, text. 
and other symbols and Latin abbreviations will occur in the uh, critical apparatus too and uh, as we go along we'll see more and more of those and so uh, CP is short for chapter and uh, 12 comma 2 is chapter 12 verse 2 uh, CF is cross-reference uh, PRP is a reading proposed by the editors uh, that's a uh, conjectural usually um, they don't think the text is right but maybe they don't have a manuscript that has it so they'll give you a contextual con uh, conjectural emendation and propose well maybe this was what was the original reading uh, L is uh, means to read uh, Latin uh, legendum uh, not to be misread as the number one uh, C is the Latin cum which means with PC means a few uh, Latin uh, posse and uh, MSS is Hebrew manuscripts uh, in the Masoretic tradition uh, which don't have a lot of variants as uh, uh, Kennecott and DeRossi uh, uh, showed us many many uh, years ago but nonetheless there are some manu manuscript variations and that can be uh, important so I think that's uh, pretty much everything I'm going to say uh, as you go through the text and translate uh, in Genesis 12 uh, read carefully uh, the notes that uh, Ross has uh, given and uh, if you have questions uh, uh, raise those in the forums or when we uh, meet together uh, uh, through Skype and um, I think we'll stop here. Um.